All right, good morning, friends. Okay, so I think it's fitting that I chose to do this video today because today is my 40th birthday. I'm really excited. Excuse my voice. I have that cold that sounds worse than it is now because my voice won't come back. Another reason why I've been waiting to make my video. But um, so my video today is a little bit about um, sort of finding my fire, um, some new changes happening in my life, and um, things I'm going to do to try to keep that fire burning. So my good friend Jennifer Grant gave me this ring. It's gorgeous. It's a fire opal. And that was her message to me. She said, you know what? You found your fire in 2008. And as I was thinking through, I'm like, you're absolutely right. I've met some amazing people. I've sort of launched forward intuitively and um, just sort of being myself and doing what I feel like is, you know, great. Like, you know, empowering people and just connecting and all the things that I know um, will eventually bring everything together that I feel passionate about. So that's cool. But, you know, I've been in a bit of a slump, too, which I think is a little bit about the whole Mercury being in retrograde and just maybe a little bit of an air of that, you know, negativity out there in the universe that I try to avoid um, just about the economy. And, you know, you're watching friends and people struggling, and it's just it's hard to, you know, to keep that positive energy going and keep that fire burning. So I'm going to talk about some commitments that I'm going to make and in trying to rekindle or keep I'm sorry keep that fire kindled for me because I'm still feeling the passion and the excitement I was before so number one the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make and keep a relative schedule because that's important for me I'm kind of scattered um, it seems like I do a lot of things impulsively and like I always say it works but then at the same time I miss some of the most the important priorities things so I'm going to do that schedule Schedule, schedule. Nothing like, like majorly rigid. Just something to give me a guide to help me sort of keep, keep my head together. Number two, I'm going to start running again. Because when I run, it like clears my head. I have no knee pains or back pains. And after all, I am 40, so I do have a few pains here and there. But they're gone when I run. So number one, schedule. Number two, I'm going to start running again. Okay, so number three, I'm only going to do three because I have to keep sort of manageable expectations of what I'm going to, I'm going to do. But number three is I'm going to actually utilize Robert Allen's um, Taking Charge of Your, no, what is it called? I'm sorry, The Art of Stress Free Productivity. And I've talked about that before. But I have those folders for every day of the month. And I'm putting work into them, and I'm putting, like, little bills and stuff. But I haven't been cleaning them out every day. So I'm going to commit to making sure that I'm cleaning those out every day because what I'm doing is I'm putting priorities in there. So those are my three things for right now that I'm going to do, and it's going to help me keep that fire burning because the creative ideas are flowing, and uh, it's just really exciting. So um, my other big news, and I always do this, I say I'm going to end, but then I don't end, is that um, I have some exciting uh, changes in my status because I'm about to be single again. So um, it's a really good step forward. It's something that I've been working on. Or I'm, you know, my husband and I have been working on for a long time. So a lot of people have been coming up and saying, oh, I'm so sorry. But I want everyone to know out there that this is a good step forward. And it's totally, like, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. And so um, I'm just looking forward to 2009. And I'm glad my birthday falls early in the year, so I can kind of mold it together with, like, New Year's resolution-y type stuff. But for me, it's more like this is a landmark for me. It's my 40th birthday. I'm ex so excited. I'm an Aquarian. I love, 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 love my birthday. So it's just lots of new changes and new things, and I'm looking forward to this year. So thanks for sharing it with me. I'm excited. Any tips that might help me accomplish my three goals would be awesome. So anyway, uh, love you all, and I am um, excited to talk to you. Bye.